Hi everyone, welcome back to Outdoor Adventure Craft. So it's the dead of winter now. We're a little ways into January. It's not warm like the last time when I brought you out. It's minus 20 today. So I'm dressed up a little warmer. Got some uh, extra layers on and there's more snow falling too so I'm on the snowshoes. The purpose of today's video uh, is to get out and lay some snares. I just took my trapper certification back in August and this is actually my first winter out laying traps. Uh, in fact, today is the first time I'll be laying snares, so I'm very excited about that and get my uh, trap and hobby started. So this is the same area that I brought you guys out to last time uh, when I showed you the rabbit tracks and a few different areas where it looks good for laying a snare. So I'm actually going to target those areas today. And you know I wanted to come out today just for myself too, so I think maybe uh, I might get a little fire started in a bit and uh, just try to relax and enjoy the woods today. So thanks for joining me here everyone on Outdoor Adventure Craft. Let's get going. See here, it's just rabbit track straight ahead. All over the place. So here we are guys, back at that uh, first spot I came to the other day on that video about small game trail identification. That nice closed in little funnel there. You can see the rabbit tracks coming out of it going all over the place. There's quite a few really obvious tracks right here. So they're definitely in the area. So I'm going to go in there. I'm going to use that tree you see right there in the center of the frame. And I'm going to tie my snare onto that. And I'm going to try not to disturb the snow too, too much. And I'm going to try to do it so you guys can see it. So let me get the camera set up. So I decided the best way to do this is probably to get the snare ready before I go in and muck up the area around where I want to set it too much. So I've got a multi-tool, some brass snare wire, and a little twig. Now my, uh, my instructor at my course showed me how to use a little twig like this to get your snare knot done really well. So, I'll get myself a, a length of wire first. And I need to be able to go around a tree in there that's about as big around as my arm and tie it off too. So, I'm gonna be able to need quite a bit. So I'll give myself about a meter. Again, any of you uh, old trappers and Experienced trappers, forgive me for all the things I'm about to do wrong, but it's my first season and this is how we're going to do it here today. So I got shown to take a little twig like this and uh, take your take your end and uh, he just took and wrapped around it. Now some people just wrap it around once, but I saw a trick a friend of mine, uh, Kevin Johnson at Midwest Woodcraft did. He took it around twice because uh, when the snare bites, uh, it, it doesn't slide anymore. That inner loop in the snare binds on the wire. So what I've done is I've wrapped that snare around there twice and I've got the, uh, the two ends. I've got the uh, working end and the standing end of the snare there. And then I just grab that twig and I just start twisting it. And rather than have to wrap that wire around and around and around I've got myself an easy little handle and I double it back over itself. See, it was going, I was wrapping it down this way, and then I started the wire going back this way. A little bit more friction to keep it from coming undone. Just keep wrapping until you run out. This is pretty exciting for me actually. It's my first snare. And then the easy way to get that off there because it's nice and tight now is just break the stick around it and pull it out. And what you got is about an eighth of an inch little loop there, and it's doubled. 
Now the obvious part of the snare is you take your uh, your end there where you cut her off and you put it through and you've got a snare. Obviously you want to think about uh, your size, size of a rabbit, you know, with his ears and stuff. So he's going to maybe something you can just fit your hand through. Five, six inches or so is what I'm going to go with again. There may be a, you know, a, a perfect measurement, but that's what I'm going to go with. I just put a little bend there just to keep it uh, in place. Now when the rabbit comes along, I just put like a like a bend just so it wouldn't slide up. I don't know if you can see that or not, but the it comes around from the loop and goes in and then just bends over and goes up. So there's like a little elbow for the... So when a rabbit comes along and gets in there, it pulls down, tightens up. And again, that second loop binds up in it. So now that I've got my snare ready, I like the size of it there, about five inches or so. I'm going to go tie this end of it here around that tree over there and we'll have our first snare in place. Pretty excited. Let's go put it in. Get in here as best as I can not to muck up the area where they walk through. Let's get this on here. You can just bend the wire in such a way to position it. So that they'll hop through it. You can see I've got it here like this. Maybe move it down the tree a bit. It's closer to the ground. There we go. There. Looks like it's about an inch off the ground or so. Big enough for them to fit their head through. Might close it up a little bit actually. A little bit smaller. There. We'll go with that see how that works. All right, so I thought I might put another one right here in the same area. So I thought I might uh, try to get a bit more of a close-up for you. Uh, the last one worked pretty good. I'd say that uh, the overall length could have been longer. So this time I took about a meter and a half. Uh, for you guys in the States, that's like four and a half feet or something like that. So again, um, here's a little twig. Uh, leave about Oh, three inches there or so. I went around once, went around twice. You can see that double loop there. And I grab it and I just start twisting the stick. Hopefully this is in focus well and you guys can see it. It's unbelievably hard to film this stuff while you're out here in the woods. I was going through about four foot drifts of snow trying to get around to the last one I put in. The snowshoes wouldn't come back out. They got stuck under the crust. So there you go. And you just break the stick. Pull it out from either side. Hopefully this is in the frame for you guys. Bring around your other end. 
put it through. And you've got a snare. Shape it up nice so they can stick their furry little head in it. Like I said, I put a little kink over like that so that it holds it and then a little kink up. Hopefully you guys can see that. Yeah, so let's go lay this one in on another spot. So you can see here, right obvious, tracks going right through here. And they come closer to this tree right here than this one. I was going to use this one, but I changed my mind when I got down here and actually could see this a little better. So I'm going to tie my snare onto this one here. Again, this is my second snare, so this time it's a little bit smaller. I'm going with about I don't know, four and a half inches or so, just enough to fit my, my fist through. My fist just goes through it. And I went with about four feet, so I got about oh, two and a half, almost three feet left over after I tied it up. So let's put her in here. Wrap it around the tree a couple of times. And we get bring it around, then you can start twisting it on itself. Really doesn't matter how you do this part as long as you get enough loops around the tree that you're going to get some friction. Get enough wraps back around the wire that it's going to stay. Push that end back out of the way. And I'll position my snare. Right over the trail. So yeah, you can see there's a little bit of funneling. If I really wanted to spend some time out here, I could block this off over here and block all this off so that you'd have to go right through there. But uh, we'll see how this works out. And I told myself I was gonna take it easy while I was out here and I just spotted this standing deadwood here, piece of spruce or fir, and this little stick of kindling standing right up here. So I think I'm gonna pat down a little area and have a fire. I wanna get a bunch of snares down, but I'm not too, too worried about how many I get down today. to use this little tinder bundle I made for a while. I got some natural tinders just wrapped up in a little rabbit skin pocket. I've uh, kept it in my pack for quite a while. Got some rolled up birch bark plugs. I think I'll just use one of these plugs save the rest. But yeah, I'm not really sure how much uh, battery life I got here today guys. 
Uh, batteries go pretty quick in the cold as I'm sure you're aware. So, you know, I accomplished what I wanted to here today. I wanted to come out and uh, learn to tie some snares. If I really needed some, there's a little bit of cotton there. These uh, emergency matches. But uh, I got some bologna with me I thought I'd fry up. So let's get this fire started and we'll stay together as long as the batteries last. Give that birch bark a sec. Little brush bundle. Should start burning here soon, so I'm gonna wanna back up. Got some snow in there, I don't want that. Two or three more good pieces of fuel ought to give me enough coals for a nice little fry. Hey guys, again, so I don't really know how much battery life I got there today. The cold's really hard on the batteries, but I got a nice little fire going and I'm really happy about that. It's been a while since I just come out and started a fire from natural fuel I find around it what I brought with me. So I wanted to use a little bit of time I had left just to uh, catch you guys up on what's going on in the next little bit. I'm uh, quite excited to let you guys know about a, a real big uh, video series coming up in February. Uh, me and Mike Holland uh, from the Resourceful Redneck are gonna be going on a, a four day deep woods trapping and hunting trip uh, in a big canvas hot tent with a wood stove. Uh, I've been looking forward to it since the summer and I'm excited to tell you guys about it now. So that's coming up in February. Uh, we're looking at probably February 24th through the 27th. You know, and I got a lot of editing and stuff to do with it, and so that'll take me a bit to get it out to you guys. But it should be, uh, you know, four or five or six episodes, uh, different features. Uh, we'll be trapping, we'll be hunting, you know, depending on the location. I've got a couple scouted out. Uh, we might even be able to do some ice fishing, but it's gonna be really nice. You know, the canvas hot tent is a real, uh, you know, it has a real aesthetic. Uh, for deep woods winter camping and the little hot stove the little wood stove that I built myself out of an ammo can you guys will get to see that so that's big news I wanted to let you guys know about a big hunting trapping expedition coming up in late February as well it's a new year guys you know uh, I really was happy with how outdoor adventure craft did in 2016 I'm really glad for all your guys' support and thanks again as always for joining me here um, I hope you guys uh, enjoy 2017 with me as well so like I said, I'm not sure how the batteries are going to hold up, so uh, maybe the rest of this video will just kind of be some outro footage of me uh, letting this burn down for a bit, uh, getting my fry, pan, my fry pan out, and uh, getting some bologna cooked up, and uh, you never know, maybe I'll get to say a few more things before, the, before I gotta get back to the truck. She'll be stone dark here in about 45 minutes. But yeah, as always guys, thank you very much for joining me here on Outdoor Adventure Craft. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, uh, check me out on Facebook and Instagram, uh, account names Outdoor Adventure Craft, as well my website where I write full length articles and uh, take pictures and things like that while I'm out and uh, post those there and that's www.outdooradventurecraft.com. So thanks a lot everyone and we'll see you next time and maybe we'll see you over the baloney here in a bit. See you later. Oh that smells good. myself a little flask of whiskey. This is why I love the woods. This is why I love doing what I do. I mean this is awesome.
chilling out in the snowbank with a fire, a fry pan, bologna, and some whiskey. Life is awesome. I don't know how much, uh, how much this is going to show up. I just threw my flashlight in a snowbank so I could uh, get a little bit more light for you guys. But yeah, got my bologna all fried up nice. Oh, hello. Oh. Mmm. You know I love you guys, right? Watching me eat bologna in a snowbank. You guys are the best. And that's not the whiskey talking. I only had two sips. I really love you. <laughs> hmm. See you next time, guys.